How's up, everyone? Today, I'd like to show you all something truly deplorable. Now, I'm not really a Clash Royale channel, but I love healers. I use healers in pretty much every game I played, if you've known me. And this game, no exception. When the healer came out, I used the hell out of her. And it turns out that she's completely OP. And, well, healers have always been OP in the games I played. So, today, I'm going to show you something deplorable in the form of this deck that I built. Which is pretty good in win ratios. I've only lost like, once, and it was during, a, like, a clan battle. I pretty much win every fight that I go into. So, why don't I show you a couple of these. Just to, uh, show you how disgusting this deck is all about. So, this deck is about... Pushing. And pushing really, really hard. With the two recent cards that have came out. The uh, Elixir Golem is one nasty, nasty man. He's tanky as hell. He only costs three Elixirs. I mean, it comes with a great cost. In that, if that thing is killed completely, you end up feeding four Elixirs to your enemy. So, it's not a card that you should play lightly. But thanks to the healer healing him, now it's not so bad. Now, this deck involves using a heavy amount of miniature minions that come out of witches. And I also have this dude that hooks people, but I decide that I'm going to use him poorly this time. So, I end up not doing anything. Oh, but now I will hook this ice wizard and fish slap him. Oh, and now I am dead because I am pretty poor. But that's okay. Now, I'm going to have to put up with the steward barrel nonsense because that's... This deck does not have much defense against it, except with, except for Zap. Unfortunate, but that's okay. Because this deck gets extremely strong during the times 2 periods. Once the times 2 period shows, well, let's just say uh, most opponents tend to uh, die very painfully. Why don't we show this... So I drop off these witches... These witches are dropped, and now they have to fight the evil royal giant. The evil royal giant shoots my elite tower. But now that he's dead, it's time for a counter push. The royal giant costs like 60 elixirs. Not exactly a cheap thing to play. So while uh, they're busy trying to counter my golem and such, my golem doesn't die. They're running out of resources. And now I'm dropping things all over the place. Oh, hey, they're dropping skeletons. Doesn't matter, because my witches will just obliterate them. And now I've got another one <laughs> coming in. And as you can see, I went from, oh, I'm getting my ass kicked, to this nonsense where I completely overwhelm my opponents. Hey, look, more skeletons. Now they're dead because the stupid witches and their AoE blasters are just mercilessly killing them. This ice wizard coming in? No problem. I'll just hook him in with my stupid fisherman, like Pudge. Ah, fresh meat. And then chop him up. And now the witches have obliterated my enemy, and now he's dead. That will form the basis of this video. All right, now let's watch this one. So, let's see what the opponent has in store for us today. It's a... Valkyrie, okay. Well, Valkyrie doesn't do too much damage. So, I sent in the Battle Healer to just kind of go in there and soak up all the damage that they've got. I probably shouldn't have dropped the Fisherman like that. I probably should have dropped the Night Witch earlier. That was a mistake. And now, I pay for it. But the Wizard will die this day, right? Unfortunately, the tower was not within range, so the fisherman dies an extremely painful death, but that's okay, we'll just drop down this, this Tesla, and the Tesla will put up with the stupid guy, and the stupid um, uh, Mega Knight, and now the Mega Knight is dead. Let's move on forward. This witch is pretty much sacrificed. I'll let her kill those skeletons, though, because, you know, skeletons are evil. They're spooky and evil. Now we wait. Hey, look, it's Hog Rider! 
<laughs> you know, I probably should have done a little further away. But sometimes I get greedy and I want the fishermen to be in the same lane. So I take an extra hit sometimes doing that. Oh well. And now I'm just going to casually stroll forward, drop down my golem, and begin my expedition forward to attack the enemy forces. But my greatest nemesis, the wizard, has arrived. And then there is a Valkyrie drop in the center. That screws me up a lot. So what ends up happening is I feed my opponent a whole bunch of elixirs, and it seems like I'm in trouble. So I give him Battle Healer. Oh, but now they've got backup. This backup is trouble. Because Pekka, or Pekka Jr., or Pe Mini Pekkas, or anything like that, would easily overpower the evil healer. But that's okay. We took out the Pekka. Now we have to send in Pudge to just go and... Yep. Fish slap. Now is the time for vengeance. I will send forth the evil witches as they march forward to destroy the enemy forces. And now this man is pretty much finished. Because I am going to destroy him with maximum strength. Uh oh, but it's lightning. My witches are dead. But fish slap. There goes that evil wizard. Now I can go and deploy my full power. First, I drop this. Then I'll set out my dual witches. Dual destiny. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's so stupid. The fisherman's the dumbest character in the game. I love all the nonsense that he does. Anyway, I'm still losing painfully, though, so I need to turn this around. How do I do this? Well, simple. I will just stand here and watch my witch get killed. The enemy still has more elixirs than me. I have to watch. But now, they drop the wizard early. And that is what I've been counting on. Now, we just need to get rid of him. We... We stuck our fat ass in the way. Oh, but that wizard is now within range. We will let's destroy him. Now it's the time for a counterattack. Sending all oh, forces in. Once the wizard is gone, and we are in a good position. So they'll send out the wizard again. But it might be a little too late for them. Now I will unleash my secret ultimate technique. Some poison. They have extra elixirs, but they cannot deploy it fast enough. And now they're going to die painfully at the hands of the evil elixir golem. And with that, this man became extremely angry at his loss. He had victory within his grasp. And then all of a sudden, the elixir golems kicked him in the balls, and now he is dead. Let's speed it up to times two. Probably what I should have done right away in the beginning. The enemy deploys a huge amount of these uh, bucket heads. And a Valkyrie leading them. Luckily, my witches and battle healer was able to hold off the majority of the enemy assault. So now we wait for the enemy to come back again. They bring that in. Oh, but then I dropped the Tesla, the Tesla absorbed the hits, and now Hog Rider did nothing. Now all the Witchers are going in. Oh, but now they get countered by Valkyrie. That really sucks. But that's okay. Oh, but here comes some evil in the form of this uh, Infernal Dragon. And through this, I ended up losing uh, a lot of elixirs. A bit of a shame. I really gotta ha fix my bad habit of countering attack this soon. Because um, I think the elixir golem attack is much better when you have 
an elixir advantage or something like that. Especially during times two. Alright, now, the elixir golem is moving in, tanking for our guys, our healer heals. Oh, and all of a sudden, I went from the verge of defeat to this nonsense again. This is the power of battle healers and stupid elixir golem. Elixir golem so stupid. Well, this round I lost painfully, but as you can imagine, I, I, I lose painfully from time to time. Because, I mean, these games that you've seen are actually kind of close. They're not, like, that far away. But during the last two... Oh, and here comes my arch nemesis. Good luck. Now, can I deal with this? The Sparky will destroy my team. But since then, I've changed my deck a little to incorporate lightning. Luckily, I did that. Because if I don't, I'd be dead. Because I really, really hate the wizard. The wizard is a complete bane to my deck. So, I put lightning into my deck to get rid of people like him. Ooh. And now, <laughs> I've hooked both the Sparky and the Wizard. It is time to do a counterattack. I send in Battle Healer to go in. Oh, but now the evil Prism Tower is here. But that doesn't really matter because the Elixir Golem and his little glob friends are taking care of business down there. And now... They've lost one tower. They're sending in the evil forces of Sparky to try to counter this. But I'm afraid it may be a little too late. Because persevering in defense is what I do. Even if you send these stupid barrels at me, I will persevere. Because this deck is actually pretty cheap. Outside of using lightning uh, from time to time, it's actually pretty cheap. And I end up not directing this properly, so that stupid... Cauldron, or I don't even know what it's called. It's still alive, but that's okay. It doesn't matter, because you lose. Okay, and now, we... I suppose we could watch a sudden death match. Sudden deaths are actually pretty fast, too. But the enemy sends in a night combination... With a bunch of tough to take care of enemies. Baby Dragon is tough, but luckily we have Lightning. Lightning is really good for this deck. I'm, I'm really glad that I got that. And now, my first assault unfortunately ends up being a failure, so I'm in a bit of a trouble. The enemy goes for a counter push, so now I must survive this attack. Luckily I pulled it off. I used the Elixir Golem to tank the enemy attack. Send in Battle Healer. Unfortunately, that backfired, and that ended up feeding the enemy four elixirs. So I'm in a bit of a trouble. I'm in a bit of a bad spot. The enemy is coming in with a new group of forces. Luckily, I have lightning to do this. So now, what I need to do is hold off the enemy as best as I can with my healers and my witches. And, of course, my elixir golem will continue tanking. I'm in deep trouble anymore, and I will die. But, boop. <laughs> Out of nowhere, some lightning appears, and now they're dead. Witches are very deadly in defense. They're very, very scary things to deal with. Alright, now that this dude has been struck down by lightning, let's go and see how this deck fares. This time, they've got a pretty nasty setup with this giant skeleton. When Giant Skeletons dies, he turns into a bomb. And that ends up wiping my witches and everything in the, in the area. But luckily, there's so much stuff that the enemy has sent out against me that I'm too fat and useless to move, and I end up avoiding the bombs. Then, the battle healer walks up ahead. They saw this shit and like, oh, okay, fuck that shit. And now they got so tired of it, they just rage quit the game, and now they're dead. Alright, okay, alright, that, that was pretty stupid. Now let's go and watch this, uh... <clears throat> the enemy also deploys Battle Healer. They're going to send in this to attack me first. I sent in the witch. Oh, it didn't get the attention. So I end up getting two chops on my poor tower. Oh, 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 
Well, well, luckily though, my stupid golem managed to like take off half the health of their tower. Now they have two battle healers coming in, so I have no choice but to deploy my witch. And their snowball pushes my witch backwards a little, causing them to have to move a little further in to do more damage. I was cheap and decided not to use Zap this time. I could have prevented one hit to my tower, but I'm confident that I will win, so I just like, whatever. Now I deploy my battle healer. My battle healer moves slowly, backed up by a fisherman. The fisherman will hook this knight into the location of my tower and how it will kill him. The enemy advances forward, but it's time for a counter push. Ooh. Ooh, 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 Stupid Elixir Golem does not die. Thanks to healer. Just enough time for the healer to heal the stupid thing. And now, I've still got so much standing forces, I will destroy their main tower and they will die painfully. And that is, once again, the disgusting power of the Elixir Golem healer combo. With witches. With witches and lightning. All right, all right, we're going to watch one more of this nonsense, and we will stop for, for today. Let's see what we've got here. The enemy sends in the Hog Rider! I will hook him. Yep. I will just ignore that Barbarian and do a counter push. However, the enemy was able to deploy a Tesla... Which ends up absorbing quite... Oh, and then a fireball. But, hey, I still got bats. Bats and globs. Man, that tower have seen better days. They've got a lot of counters. But see what happens with my units is when they die, they turn into these things. However, in exchange, I've used up all my elixirs. And this P.E.K.K.A. mini P.E.K.K.A. destroys my tower. The enemy decides to deploy on the right side. Where the tower is heavily wounded, but I'll just strike him down with lightning the end. And now, I'm going to wait a little bit, put down a tower. Uh oh, but the P.E.K.K.A. is coming back, the P.E.K.K.A. is dead. I will try to hook the Hog Rider, didn't work because of Knight, that's okay. Because now, thanks to Battle Healer and Witch, I am ready to deploy on the right side. And on the left side, I have the Golem tanking. So what ended up happening is, is that both sides completed their pushes, and now the enemy is dead. Murderized by the evil forces of Battle Healer and their friends.